What's going on? Welcome on into today's video. We are talking book map. And right now we are looking at a book map chart that is live here on a Friday looking at Tesla. And we're talking about the volume dots in this video. Now there can be a lot of questions about these volume dots, how to interpret them, all of that stuff. So that's what we're going to be covering here in today's video. So up in the top of my book map chart, there is this icon right here that says configure visible components. So if I click on that and I go down, you'll have the option to have volume bars, volume dots, and a bunch of other things selected. So if I were to get rid of the heat map, you'll see the liquidity heat map go away and the chart looks quite boring. <laughs> Pop the heat map back up and now we've got some action. Volume dots, we can select right here, take them away, and then we can pop them right back. So if I want to put up candlesticks, I can put up candlestick bars as well. So we can look at candlesticks like we traditionally tend to look at on other charts. However, I tend to look at a book map chart with just the volume dots. And the reason why is because you can actually interpret and pull out a lot more information when looking at these volume dots. Now, if you go back up to the top left, there's the contrast option. We can slide the slider to increase or decrease the contrast background. Then there's this other option right here. And this is what's going to increase or decrease the volume dot size. Personally, I like to bring this up closer to the midway, right kind of in the middle. And it's going to make it much easier for me to see the differences in the larger volume dots versus the smaller volume dots. Now, when looking at volume dots, they also correlate to at the bottom of our screen, we have volume bars. Volume dots are just showing you relative volume based off of what we've already seen on the given time frame that we're looking at, the larger, the higher the volume. And that also correlates down at the bottom of our screen with larger volume bars. Now the green volume dots indicate more aggressive buyers potentially and more aggressive price action that is headed to the upside. And then red is the opposite. Now, when we look at volume dots like this, it comes down to our interpretation. And so what you want to see as, as you approach a key area of liquidity is what happens and what are the size of the volume dots at those levels. If the size of the volume dots are not very large, okay, in this case, we had some larger volume dots, relatively speaking, on this big move up. If we don't see volume that is that large, it's going to be tough for Tesla to break through and eat through all of the orders and all the liquidity that is stacking up here to the north or to the upside, okay? at prices higher. And the same goes for the downside. If we don't have a large volume dots, in that case, you'd want to be seeing or you'd look to see red volume dots as we're selling off. If we don't see aggressive sellers, it's going to be difficult to break through some of the larger areas of liquidity to the downside if we have a lot of them stacking up to the downside. So as you can see from today's example, we tend to see larger green volume dots as Tesla's moving up into areas of liquidity, as we're seeing a lot of orders at aggressive buyers have to now ultimately buy and eat through in order to push price higher for Tesla. That also to some degree correlates to the CVD indicator, which we have a video already here on the channel in our book map playlist. If you want to dive deeper into what that indicator is all about, very, very helpful. But the biggest takeaway is that when we can see a clear winner in terms of a trend to the upside with substantially larger green volume dots than red volume dots, we know we've got a strong trend. And when we see large red volume dots to the downside, we have a strong downtrend. And if you were to go back in time and look back to the left, and we can see that from earlier in the day, we had a lot of red volume dots that were really sending us to the downside, a lot of aggressive sellers. But now compare those red volume dots and the size of those red volume dots to some of the larger green volume dots here that we've seen this afternoon on the move up, or at least midday on the move up, right? It doesn't seem like they compare, like the green volume dots seem to be larger. And so we've got stronger, aggressive buyers. And today happens to be a green day in the markets and on Tesla. And so we've got that positive, strong momentum to the upside. And, and that's how we can look at these volume dots, interpret them and use them to our advantage in our own trading here on a book map. We'll leave links and resources down below this video to Bookmap if you have not checked it out and you want to sign up and give them a try. We'll leave links there below as well as a bunch of other resources 
as well. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.